Hello everybody, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Goretti and today I'm going to do a Capricorn reading for this new moon. Um, December 7th, I believe it's the new moon in Gemini. So let's check into the energies. I have three oracle cards for you all and then I'll do just a quick, simple, hopefully quick and simple um, tarot reading. So let's see, what does Capricorn need to know for this new moon? What does Capricorn need to know for this new moon? Messages and guidance, please, please, please. Alright, Capricorn, new moon. And Gemini, messages and guidance. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, what do you need to release? What do you need to release? Full moons are all about releasing, right? New moons are about manifesting. Full moons are about releasing. Underneath that, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. So what maybe were you uh, trying to manifest during that full moon? So we have be bold and make the first move. All right, cardinal moon. That's interesting because um, I believe Capricorn is a cardinal sign. Yes, they are. Um, I am <laughs> as well. Um, yes, you are. Let's see, Capricorn. Let's listen to it. So please, Holy Spirit, what do Capricorns need to know during this time? So what do you need to release in, during this new moon? You know, what um, people, places, situations, maybe thoughts, patterns, addictions, negative habits, um, maybe it's getting rid of items, you know, what is it that you need to release during this uh, full moon, and then be bold and make the first move, so cardinal moon, I'm thinking this is like Capricorn season, and the heart kind of reminding me of like, you know, winter, Christmas time, uh, northern atmosphere where I am right now, that's what it's like, so could be that you need to take action towards something new that you wanted to manifest possibly during that eclipse season. So if any, any of you journal uh, or anything like that, or write down, you know, what it is you're trying to manifest during uh, new moons, check that out and see what that is about. Could it be something you need to release or could it be something you need to take the first move on? Is there something that you really want that you haven't, um, you know, taken a step towards maybe you're scared maybe that's what you need to release something you need to release in order to be able to make that first move sorry about that little interruption so yeah there's something that uh you know you need to release maybe to be able to make a move towards something new take a risk I'm getting take a risk, don't hold back, don't be scared, don't let fear get in the way. So maybe there's fears that you need to release to be able to take action towards something that you want in your life, something that you want to manifest. Is it new love, new job, career, you know, something to do with your finances? What is it, you know, that you want uh, to do and take that first step? Be bold, right? Don't let fear hold you back. All right, messages and guidance, please. I think I've shuffled this more than you have. We're going to do one more. All right. What does Capricorn need to know? Cut away what is no longer needed for you. So definitely there's something here. And then the alchemical artist, this is all about manifesting. So there's something here that's holding you back from manifesting what it is that you desire, that you need to cut away. What do you need to release during this full moon? That definitely is um, the message here. And a galactic grandmother. So this is saying to me that, you know, needing to connect with Mother Nature, Mother Earth, as well as possibly ancestors. I am getting a lot of like trees, plants with both of these cards here. So possibly you need to um, 
you know, connect with plants, connect with trees. Even in the winter, we can still go outside and hug a tree, right? Or walk, take a walk uh, underneath the trees, even though they've dropped their leaves and stuff, the trees are still there. Um, but greenery, possibly, I'm getting that some of you may actually need to eat more greens, so more leafy greens. Um, and as well as know that you are being, you know, guided and protected. And what I'm hearing actually is being held by mother earth, by mother nature. So connect with, with, you know, um, maybe it's crystals, maybe it's, um, flowers, plants, something to do with the earth, um, that you really need to connect with, but definitely there's something you need to cut out of your life, you know, thoughts, habits, you know, patterns, whatever it is, could be a person, people, uh, you know, a situation, a job. I'm not really sure it's going to be different for all of you, but because this is a general reading, but you do need to cut something out in order to be able to manifest uh, and create what it is that you need to create here. Okay. Maybe some of you actually, you know, I'm actually hearing right now that some of you need to um, release and cut away you know, bad eating habits like junk food, you know, eating out uh, processed foods, things like that, and take that, you know, first step, take that first step towards, um, you know, taking care of your health, really investing into your health. That's what I'm getting. So taking the first step into eating healthier, maybe, you know, a whole food plant-based diet. That's what I started doing last year. And I can't tell you how amazing it is. And I mean, I'm not perfect. I don't do it a hundred percent of the time. I try, I do it most of the time, but, um, I have fallen off the wagon, you know, a few times. It, it's a lifestyle, right? We need to, uh, get used to it if I haven't uh, prepared, you know, um, or prepped food for the week, um, you know, my vegetables, my, my starches, things like that. I tend to, if I don't have time, you know, go and grab whatever, right? So that's when I don't feel great. So I'm getting that maybe that's what you need to do here, especially around the holidays, you know, um, maybe you need to watch out for that. And the new year people are, you know, making those new year's resolutions and that and maybe you need to get a head start on it right before the new year why wait until the new year all right let's see what this deck has to say let's just in guidance please what does this deck have to say let's just in guidance for my beautiful capricorns what do they need to know all right let's see this just in guidance please for capricorn and last one Valiant courage, take action with passion. So definitely you need to make uh, a move. You need to take action and move forward with something here. Um, and taking shelter, the answers are within. I also saw this card and felt compelled to pull it, but answering the call the time is now. So this is telling me that you do um, need to take that first step, right? Be bold and make the first move. Maybe it's, you know, in love. Maybe you need to contact someone. Um, maybe you need to go on an adventure. Maybe you need to travel. Um, maybe there's a place that you're being called to go to uh, that you need to do. So definitely take action. It's going to be different for all of you. Um, and go within and this kind of ties both of them together but taking shelter the answers are within and for me this is like the hermit card and in there in the lantern is the star for me and the star is all about your hopes and wishes and dreams um what is it that you are hoping and wishing for and dreaming what do you want to manifest right go within and connect to that and figure that out um and also if you know anything about manifesting it's going within and daydreaming and and having those thoughts of what it is that you want to create. Um, and then you take, you know, what's called inspired action, which you get, you know, maybe that inspiration of like, oh, I need to go, you know, to this place or to this event or, um, and maybe you meet somebody or that's just one example, right? 
And then we have answering the call. The time is now. So it could be that you do need to go within. I'm getting for some of you, you know, this has to do with, um, you know, maybe some spiritual gifts that you need to go within and you're being called to do something. It doesn't have to be spiritual gifts. It could be anything. It could be love, career, money, family, whatever. Um, go within, you know, to connect, to meditate, connect to the divine, get those answers because they are within you. And the time is now to answer the call, whatever you're being called to, and then take, you know, action with, um, passion. It says here, this is courage, right? Take, have the courage to take that step, uh, towards where it is that you're being called to go. Sorry about that guys. I had a package come at the door. It's uh, Christmas time, Amazon gifts. <laughs> All right, so let's do some tarot here. Messages and guidance, please. For the Capricorn Collective, what do Capricorns need to know for this full moon in Gemini? December 7, messages and guidance, please. Full moon in Gemini, December 7th for Capricorn. I'm just going to do a really simple five card spread. The chariot at the bottom there. Yeah, definitely movement. Having the courage to move towards your dreams, your desires. You know, what is it that you're being called to do? Could it have something to do with nature? Is it about your health? Is it a love situation? Could it have something to do with your career? All right, messages and guidance. Please, please spread it. Five card spread. All right, I'm going to do three more. One, two, three. What do Capricorns need to know? Spirit. Emperor. The Emperor at the bottom there. So this definitely, and I am seeing the eclipse there. So this definitely is about you taking your power back. This is leadership. This is you stepping into your power. Um, divine masculine energy possibly. And Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning there. So definitely having that courage to go towards whatever um, it is that you are passionate about in whatever area it is for you bottom of the deck we have the six of pentacles this is giving and receiving okay uh the devil card here a couple things Ooh, yeah okay so this could be i'm getting actually an unfair situation for you some of you might be dealing with a devil uh you know a toxic person um and this person has created a lot of drama for you with the five of wands here this person is the seven of swords very sneaky um very cunning and there this person nine of swords has really caused you a lot of anxiety um sleepless nights worry right and two of swords you're at a crossroads not knowing where to go and because i'm seeing that same um eclipse moon there what i'm getting intuitively is actually to pay attention to the emperor card which i'm going to look for in a second um and to take your power back because originally when i saw uh the devil i actually got you and your energy this is you stepping into your power as a capricorn so all the positive aspects of a capricorn is what you need um to focus on as well as what's coming in for you okay especially if you've been dealing with this toxic it could be a toxic person could be a toxic situation this actually even could be with yourself right like if you're you know not eating healthy not taking care of yourself maybe you're in addictions you know things like that this could apply to you um and underneath that is the star that's what i was talking about um you know that is in the lantern with the hermit here right? You need to focus, go within, meditate and focus on that star. This is dreams, wish fulfillment. Know that wish fulfillment is here. If you are dealing with this toxic situation, know that wish fulfillment is coming in for you here with the star card. And let's move forward a father of swords so this is the king of swords this is being very decisive very clear um you could be dealing with you know a legal situation like with a lawyer or a judge um this is having you know that clarity and being very strong in that clarity and knowing your truth notice how the sword is actually a rainbow there 
All right, and then that's the um, center. Uh, Daughter of Pentacles, so this would be the Page of Pentacles, is what we see. So this is you planting uh, a seed. This could be an offer as well. What we don't see is the Hangman. So waiting, a little bit of stagnant energy. Um, you know, things aren't moving. This is also could be a change of perspective with the Hangman here. Okay. In the past, recent past, um, is the Five of Pentacles. So there could have been a loss here. Um, you know, something that really kind of broke you down. I'm hearing, you know, broke your heart as well. It could be a financial loss. Ten of Wands is what we have as your advice card. What I get from this is that you need to drop your burdens. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, you need to drop the burdens. And the burdens can be anything. And this is so interesting because I was going to look for the Ace of Swords. Um, as I mentioned, this Father of Swords card here with the Rainbow Sword, that's the Sword of Truth. So I was going to look for the Ace of Swords, and that's actually the outcome. Okay, so... Um, I'm feeling compelled to pull some more on that one, and I do that sometimes. So we've got the Fool. This is all about a new beginning. So Ace of Swords, this is about a truth coming out as well. So I need to look for the Emperor card as well. Do you see the snake around the sword there? Um, the Infinity Symbol. So infinity symbol sorry um so that to me is the magician card so i'm gonna look for the magician as well the fool is a clarifying this ace of swords so this is about a new beginning this is taking that leap of faith this is knowing that you have you know what it takes the wings to fly this is that valiant courage right having the courage to take a risk right on whatever it is this this um, could be truth, clarity. This could be with the, in this card, I'm seeing uh, lightning bolts. So this could be like a sudden, you know, inspiration, idea, right, that comes in. Or suddenly you know the truth about something that puts you uh, on this brand new path with the Fool card here. And we've got the Ten of Swords. This could have something to do with ending a situation, ending a relationship, ending, you know, uh, um, could be, you know, financial, about this financial loss. All, this comes to an end with the Ten of Swords. Whatever this was that you went through, definitely it was heartbreaking. It was, you know, betrayal. It was devastating. Um... It was very painful, whatever this was, but the Ten of Swords is here with the Fool to say there's a brand new beginning here, and whatever this was, this is coming to an end. So whether this Ace of Swords, this truth brings this, you know, situation or person or whatever it is to an end, um, this, you know, um, bad situation uh, to an end, and there's a new beginning and then we have the chariot card, which we saw at the very beginning when I was doing the pre-shuffle. So, sorry guys, my nose gets itchy when I get the downloads. Um, the chariot is here. Just saying again, this is all be bold. Make that first move. Valiant courage, right? Answer the call. Answer the call. Um, you know, time, the time is now, right? Take action with passion. This is moving forward. The chariot, you will be successful, right? This is um, a victory here with the chariot card. Now, what I am seeing, I'm also seeing the eclipse here. I'm also seeing here um, with the moon on the um, third eye, what I'm getting here um, is connecting to that light. So connecting to the divine. So I'm also getting high priestess uh, of vibes here. And then we've got the ace of pentacles on this horse. Notice this is different than the other uh, decks. So this is just the one horse. Horses are very... Um, you know, powerful. And actually it's interesting because when I think of Capricorn, I actually always associate it to the horse. Um, I know you guys are the goat, right? I'm the goat. Um, we can, you know, uh, climb the mountain. I'm hearing the song, uh, ain't no mountain high enough. So, um, 
you know, but I also get that strength and that, you know, persistence uh, of the horse. I am going to actually, I wasn't going to do this, but I have the Animal Spirit Oracle deck here. So I'm going to pull the horse card and, and tell you what it reads. But the horse has the Ace of Pentacles there around um, the neck uh, on the heart there. So this could be balancing your chakras as well to open up your crown chakra. So somebody might need to do that as well. So I will look for the Ace of Pentacles as well. Okay, so let's go one by one here. Let's start with, uh, you know, what you don't see. The underlying energy here um, was the Emperor card I needed to look for. Oh, and so interesting. If I continue further at the bottom, we have the Father of Wands. So this is King of Wands, Ten of Cups. We have the Seven of uh, Wands, which is, you know, overcoming. And there's that Ace of Wands in the middle there with the Six of Wands. So wherever this passionate new beginning is for you, you will be victorious. You will be successful. And the Sun card, it is bringing you bliss and happiness. And again, there's that solar eclipse I keep seeing in these cards. So definitely let's look for the Emperor card here, guys. Let's see where the emperor is. Ugh, this is just beautiful. You have so many amazing things here. Okay. Sorry. I got it. Sometimes I swear there could be a whole reading at the bottom of the deck. If I kept going, five of swords. So this is, you know, a battle, conflict, whatever it is that you're going through. Wheel of fortune is coming in here. This is karma. Turning the wheel in your favor to bring you your ten of pentacles. Okay. Justice is here bringing you abundance with the Ace of Cups. And you have the Nine of Pentacles here. You are abundant, you're successful, you're independent. Okay, yes. All right, let's keep going. Sorry guys, I just felt like I needed to tell somebody that and I wanna put these back in the order that they were in. Okay, so Emperor card, let's find that. Emperor. I just go with whatever Holy Spirit guides me to tell you guys, okay? Emperor card. Where is the Emperor? Let's see, what does the Emperor have to say? There it is. Oh, yep, yeah, look at that. This is a full moon reading. We've got the Emperor in between the full moon, or the moon, sorry, the moon card, and... Sorry about that, guys. I got kids coming in and out and making noise. So, um, okay. So what was I saying? The moon uh, card or the emperor's wedge between the moon card as well as that ace of wands. So this has to do, you know, during maybe this moon, uh, full moon season here that we're having in Gemini. Um, this is about you taking your power back and going towards your passion with the ace of wands here. I'm hearing plant the seeds. This could be this, you know, page of pentacles here, planting the seeds of this new passion for it to grow. I also, um, what was I going to look for? Sorry guys, I lost my train of thought there. See, and this is how we know when we're channeling because <laughs> I started thinking about stuff uh, intellectually and gone. All right. Oh, okay. So I said I was also going to look for the magician card, which I just looked was at the bottom of the deck, which is interesting. Um, so the magician card is with the father of cups, which is the king of cups. So this for me, let me just go a little further. So because it's at the bottom and I don't have the other cards on the other side. So here is the magician card and I'm seeing the sun in the back. And again, I'm seeing that like eclipse. So guys, if you, you know, um, did any manifestation rituals, anything like that during the eclipse season, please like try to think about that or go back if you write it down and see what it was that you're manifesting, because that has huge importance to this uh, full moon. 
We also have the tower card here. This is a sudden change for me. I don't see this as a bad thing, actually. Remember what I said about the... Um, the lightning bolts here that that stood out for me so that's the tower so this is going to be something sudden you know a sudden idea um uh, you know something i just keep hearing sudden this is you going within okay to find that passion that ace of wands going within connecting to the light and maybe to find that passion, uh, whatever it is, maybe going within so that you can manifest using the magician, right? Being able to manifest this passionate new beginning. It could be that. Um, and with the Father of Cups here, what I'm getting is, you know, also tapping into your emotions, going deep within your emotions and being very stable when it comes to your emotions in order to manifest this new desire. If there is something shocking that comes in, stay calm, cool, and collected. Stay very um, consistent and stable in your emotions in order to manifest. And also go within and connect to your higher self, higher power, God, universe, source, whatever it is for you. Connect to the light. Connect to that light within to get yourself grounded and stable. Go within yourself. So meditation maybe as well as to be able to focus on that desire that you're trying to manifest during this full moon uh, time as well. Okay, so there's that. And then also I was going to look for... Did the magician oh the high priestess yes the high priestess okay let's look for the high priestess oh and the ace of pentacles that's what i wanted to look for as well okay so high priestess and ace of pentacles where are those ah we're at 26 minutes sorry i wanted this to be a quick reading but you know it is what it is okay look at that the high priestess is wedged between the um six of wands or sorry six of swords as well as the death card and beneath the death card we have the nine of cups so this is wish fulfillment this is your desires this is you know your dreams your hopes what it is that you want this is wish fulfillment right so to get that though six of swords here is you need to walk away from this dark energy chaos the devil energy, whatever that is for you, person, place, or thing, situation, right? It could be within you. It could be dealing with something outside of you or a person outside of you. But whatever it is, you need to walk away from this darkness, this storm, right? And go towards this rainbow, okay? Go towards the calmer waters. Go towards the rainbow, the beauty, the the light, um, you know? So you need to, to leave this behind, and go towards the rainbow now six of swords usually with that card it's all about you know leaving the five swords behind um and taking that um you know ace of swords and it's interesting because underneath you did have or sorry i had seen the five of swords there where was the five of swords the five of wands is there but i also saw the five of swords where is that five of swords did I not just talk about that five of swords? You're leaving behind the chaos and conflict. Yes, it was at the bottom there. Yeah, whatever it is, karma coming in to, you know, bring in uh, that ten of pentacles there, the five of swords, right? Wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. So this five of swords, whatever this chaos and conflict is, you need to leave it behind and just take the sword of truth. This sword of truth, this ace of swords, this is a sword of clarity. This is, you know, knowledge and power from uh, the divine is what's going to bring in this brand new beginning. It's going to close out this, you know, toxic uh, cycle and the chariot card it's going to move you forward here towards your sun in the back here i'm seeing the sun card towards your happiness and bliss okay um this abundance coming in as well could also have to do with your third eye so it could be psychic spiritual gifts connecting you to 
you know, the divine to source, uh, to the light, right? To information, wisdom coming in for you. This also could be what this is about. Anyway, so, okay. So we're going to leave the five swords behind. We're taking the one sword with us. And the high priestess, again, there's what I was talking about, right? With the, the crescent moon there, I guess is what you call it, right? The high priestess. So the high priestess is all about that knowledge, wisdom, knowing high priestess, you know, she's got that psychic ability, right? There's, there's the world, you know, she has this, she can see, uh, things. Um, so definitely could be about spiritual gifts for sure. And also about your intuition. And then we have the death card here. So this is things coming to an end so that new beginnings can happen. This is also a transformation. And I am seeing the Phoenix rising from the ashes. All of this brings you the nine of cups, your wish fulfillment. Okay. So what other card did I say I was going to look for? I can't remember. Let's quickly clarify. Maybe the 10 of wands here is the advice. 10 of wands. Yeah, mother of swords, which is the queen of swords. This is all about, you know, cut out what no longer serves you. Cut out what no longer serves you. Okay. All right, and the high priestess came out again. All right, with the strength card, and I'm not. Okay, I guess I'm taking those. All right, bottom of the deck, 10 of cups. So this is your ultimate happiness, bliss uh, coming in for you. Okay, so we got the justice in reverse. So something not being in balance. Okay. So needing to drop the burdens, father of wands, this is my entrepreneur card. Could it have something to do with your work? Um, not really sure there, but father of wands is being, you know, confident, self-assured. Um, I'm getting dropping burdens to do with work. And then we have the sun card here. So focus on what makes you happy. What brings you happiness, right? Focus on that. Drop the burdens. Um, have confidence in yourself. This is being charismatic. This is you being, you know, stepping again. I'm hearing stepping into your power, right? So there's something out of balance in your life that you need to get back into balance. And it could be within you with the strength card here. You do have the strength and the courage for whatever it is um, that you're working on, wherever it is you need to go towards. Um, you definitely have this in inside courage. And again, with the sun card there, this is the Leo sign, of course. Um, this will lead you to your happiness. High Priestess came out. So this is use your intuition, connect to the light, connect to the divine, open up that, um, you know, um, your, your chakras, I'm actually also getting, again, the heart, the third eye, and the crown what chakra in this car. Sorry about that, guys. Kids in the background. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah. So, Mother of Swords was the first thing. This is cutting out what no longer serves you. Now, the Queen of Swords has gone through a lot. But look, it's the owl here. Wisdom. You have knowledge. Knowledge is power. She's not cutting because she's not holding that sword upright. She's holding it downwards. This is power and knowledge underneath you. And you have a higher perspective as well with the high priestess going within, connecting to the divine and your higher self source, connecting to the light to get that, you know, wisdom, knowledge and higher perspective. And then a side little note on that is the three of swords that we have here with the temperance card and the hierophant. So for me, this could be that some of you might have, you know, a committed relationship or something um, that is out of balance and causing you some some pain. Uh, or you could have gone through, you know, a heartbreak here um, that you're needing to heal from with the temperance card here. Um and Hierophant, you might need to be learning uh, something new in regards to this that brings you this healing for this heartbreak. But know that at the bottom of all of this is your Ten of Cups. This is happiness. This is your 
just uh, the everything card. This is abundance in everything. This is success. This is money, health, wealth, love, family, all of that. All right. So that is what I have for you all today. Um, oh, yes, I almost forgot. I'm going to pull that horse card for you all. Let's see, where is the horse card? I'll read that to you and we will finish this reading for the new moon in Gemini. Where is the horse card? Let's see. Of course, it's going to be at the end. Murphy's Law, right? <laughs> Horse, horse, horse. And see, my intuition told me to start. Okay, that's hilarious. It's the last card. My intuition said start from the other end. But, you know, we don't listen sometimes. I don't always listen. <laughs> so, horse is freedom. Freedom. Your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Absolutely. Valiant courage, right? Answer the call. We have got, you know, high priestess here. We have the strength card. We've got the sun card. That pretty much wraps up this entire reading. Absolutely. All right, my loves, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please hit the like button. Also that, uh, you know, gets my channel to grow, gets my messages out there and allows me to be able to do more of these kinds of videos. Um, and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Hit the bell icon to get notified when I post new videos. I'm going to try to do a lot more of them, um, you know, more frequently. And also comment below if you haven't already done so. Share this video with uh, somebody. Share my channel with somebody that you think might be interested. I appreciate all of you. And I wish you all peace, love, and light during this full moon. Make sure to hydrate and also make sure to really take care of yourself. Release what's no longer needed for you and really go within and, you know, tap into what it is that, um, you know, you desire that you want to create. Okay. And focus on that. Focus on your happiness. All right, everybody. Until next time. Bye-bye.